Hello everybody, this is the second in the series of my videos on the um, Mayan signs. Um, I don't know if you've seen my first video on crocodiles, so I'm going to go through all of it again, which I'm going to do in all my videos. Um, I'm going to put links to my social media page in the description box um, and links to anything else that I think will be relevant to you, including a couple of websites that I use to help uh, me to calculate people's Mayan signs. Um, um, the Zolkin Explorer is a very good one. Uh, my Mayan signs are a very good one. And there's many more. So all you need to do is put um, find out or um, find out my Mayan sign um, into Google and a plethora of websites will come up. So take your pick. They're all correct. I've checked them all. OK, so let's move on. OK, so I don't know what you guys know about the Mayans, but they lived um, and still do in um, Central America and Mexico. Um, so the, the Maya, they had excellent knowledge of astronomy and mathematics way ahead of their time. Very, very knowledgeable ancient people. Um, they're from ancient Mesoamerica and they live, like I just said, in today's Mexico and Central America. Um, we've managed to piece together, piece together lots of facts about the culture because a lot of their rum scrolls and information and stuff was burnt when um, the Europeans arrived and the religious fanatics um, burnt a lot of their stuff. But many researchers have got together. They speak to um, people, Mayan people that are around now that know all about it. And the Mayan people that are around now have given them lots of information and filled in a lot of gaps, as well as we use indigenous sources like manuscripts, inscriptions. Um, there's also um, archaeo astronomers um, work on the Mayans, um, ethno astronomers and anthropologists and more. There's so many people that study the Mayans and we piece together the Mayan calendar. Um, and that's why I'm bringing this information to you today. Um, so uh, the difference between, say, the Mayan calendar and Western astrology is that Western astrology focuses on the astronomical cycles and the planetary alignments, whereas Mayan astrology interprets block, blocks of times in cycles. They do do some astronomical um, placing as well, but it's mostly about blocks of time. OK, so the Mayan system is a series of groupings of days, blocks of time. Uh, the important of those group, the most important of those groupings is the 260 day calendar known as the Zolkin. Um, organizing intricate correlations between time, number, a bit of astronomy, like I just said, um, existing separately from the 365 day civil calendar used to govern their day to day life. OK, so moving on. OK, so the most important is the day sign. Um, the day sign is so the year divides into periods of 20 days and each of those 20 days is a day sign. There are 20 day signs. OK, each of the 20 days have their own sign that reveals important information about your destiny, your personality, your life purpose, um, your abilities, your talents, um, like numerology, really. Um, your day sign provides you with your life mission. Um, it includes your strong and weak aspects. This sign guides you and reminds you of your spiritual essence and your personal mission, which I've just repeated. OK, <laughs> and also um, you're you're born with a day sign and you're also born in a Trakana. Now, a Trakana sign is a day sign, but it lasts for 13 days. So I'm a Mayan road day sign, but I'm born in the serpent Trakana. So there was 13 days dedicated to the serpent. I was born within that uh, Trakana, but on the Mayan day sign. OK, so about 75 percent of who I am is from my day sign and about 25 percent is the Trakana sign or the, the particular 13 day cycle that I was born in. OK, so the for example, the day sign um, would be the foreground of a picture. So it's right up front is what you see most of. Um, and the Trakana side sign describes the background. 
um, and tells us about your personality as well. So it's about 75 your day sign, 25 your Trakana sign, but both of them are relevant. Also relevant is your uh, galactic tone. So when I work out my Mayan day sign, I'm a road eight serpent or a road serpent eight because my galactic tone is eight. And this tone reveals the relationship between us and the big divine plan. Uh, the tone is more like a mission and it's given to you. This is the energy you re radiate to the people, um, society and the universe. OK, so all of these three signs, the day sign, the trachana and the galactic tone are all relevant to who you are as a person. Okay. So also very important are your past and future day signs. And I'm going to show you a picture in a minute which shows how they're all arranged. But your past sign helps you with your spiritual evolution. Um, you're under the influence of your past sign until you're about 12, 13 years old. And you start feeling your future sign or your destiny sign at around 40-ish. Everyone's a bit different when they start feeling it. Um, but it's around 40-ish mark years old. Um, so your future de destiny sign is like a, a new mission that sort of adds to your day sign. And it's a, a, a route towards your spiritual development that you need to understand, accept and realize. Um, your masculine and feminine signs are other um, elements of you. So you have your day sign, which is your major um, part of you make your day sign your trachana and your tone but also elements of you are your masculine and your feminine side your feminine side i put to the left and your masculine sign i put to the right so these super signs support your day sign um, the feminine is your introverted sign that doesn't really come out unless it's um, in your in, in intimate relationships and your masculine sign is your outgoing um, active side. It's in your professional relationships. It's the side It's the side of you you probably show a bit more in your working life or to the world around you. Um, your, mess, your feminine side, people don't see that much unless they're really close to you. But they support your day sign. So you're not just your day sign and your trachana. There are other elements of you as well, your feminine and your masculine side. So there's a lot of things to consider when you when you're looking at your um, Mayan chart. OK. Also to consider, but less so, is your Lord of the Night. Mine is G4, but I'm going to do another video on the Lords of the Night. So don't worry about that. Um, and that the, the Lord of the Night that you're born in or the name, the nine day cycle that you are born in is your deep unconscious hidden motivations and often your dark side dark side also relevant but less so very watered down are your solar years um, which are grouped in 54 year cycles each year in the cycle has its own special quality um, reflected in your personality and character but that kind of lasts for a year so that means everyone born in that year will have that similar essence to them but i think that's less noticeable because it's a lot more diluted um, similarly, with your phase of Venus, it's divided into four big periods, which um, the phase in which the person is born can offer insights into your social values and your role in society. Um, gives you other little elements of you, but less important than your day sign, your trachana, your tone, your feminine, your masculine and your past and your future sign. They're the main ones that you need um, to keep in focus. OK, so the four directions, each of each lot of Mayan, Mayan signs, um, they're split into four groups. So you have to the north, you have the white signs and there's five of them. I'm not going to list them all because I'll never remember them all on video. It always happens to me. So in the north are the five white signs, which incorporates wind, um, which I'm talking about today and Jaguar and death. Oh, I won't try any more. And two more. OK, to the south, there's the, the yellow signs, which are um, uh, very much um, what's the word compatible with the north signs. So if you're a north sign, the um, you're compatible with other north signs, but you're also compatible with the south signs and you don't really connect so much with the east and the west signs. The east signs are the red signs and um, the west signs are the blue signs. OK, 
I'll talk a little bit more about that in another video because that was a little bit quick. Um, but yeah, there is too much to be put in one video. Okay, so the name, uh, the Mayan name is uh, Ik, and of course it's wind. Uh, and the meaning, this the wind is associated with the hummingbird, the weasel, and the bobcat. As I've said, it's uh, the element is wind because it's called wind, and the direction is north. And the compatibility is the other white signs, which will be another wind, dog, death, jaguar, and knife. And don't forget the yellow signs as well. Road, light, seed, owl or vulture, and one other that I can't remember right now. Uh, it always goes out of my head at the critical moments. Right, so if you're a wind Mayan day sign, your life purpose is to spread spiritual messages, um, communication to inspire, patience and self-belief. It's really important that you believe in yourself and you have patience with yourself. Um, positive reactions, not emotional, explosive, bad reactions. And very important, as I've said, transcend your insecurities and build your self-belief. That's your life purpose if you are a wind day sign. OK, so if you're a wind day sign, these are your abilities, talents and interests. OK, so you're an inspiring communicator. Um, you share ideas brilliantly. Um, you prefer to you're not so much of a leader. You prefer to be of service rather than leadership um, like the um, this is the second Mayan day sign. And I do see some similarities with the numerology number two, um, the need to be of service rather than of leadership is very, very linked to the number two, um, learning and intelligent insight, uh, verbal communication, most definitely. They're very good orators, the wind day sign, very good uh, with words. They're a good reader and writer, um, interesting conversationalist, as you would imagine, if you're good at talking. Um, you love art and beauty. A lot of wind sign loves love to paint and draw, and they love to make themselves look nice and their house look nice. They don't like things looking horrible. Beauty is quite important to them. Uh, very self-aware, always asking themselves questions and doing a lot of um, self-discovery uh, and things like that. Um, they have multiple interests, so they don't necessarily settle on one career straight away. Um, they may have multiple um, careers in their lifetime, and they certainly have multiple interests. So with these abilities, they would be great public speakers, great musicians and singers. Um, they're very intuitive and perceptive in their communication. They can read people very well, which is really important when you're communicating with people to be able to read people. Um, you'd be a good healer. You've got uh, psychic abilities. But, you know, I think everyone's got psychic abilities to a certain extent, but some people are a little bit more so. Um, so the wind personality has psychic abilities. Um, they'd be really good as a psychologist or a counsellor because they're a good they're good at speaking and they're good at helping people un to understand things. And they're certainly good at listening, which is a good counsellor skill. Um, they could be a great politician, great at pulling people round to what their way of thinking. Um, strong imagination, very much so, which helps them with their art most importantly. Um, good strong personal power. And they love to plan and they are definitely the dreamers, um, one of the few dreamers of the Mayan calendar. Their personality, of course, they're great communicators, so they're talkative. They're interested and they're very stimulating to talk to. Uh, smart, definitely. Mentally agile. And like I said, they've got, they'll have many careers. They've got many interests. So they're a bit of a jack of all trades, bit of a generalist, um, which is kind of good because it means they can turn their hand to anything. Uh, changeable, very, very changeable, just like the wind, um, very changeable and adaptable. They can change direction on the on, on the spin of a, a coin. They can change direction and just go down a completely different route, and it, it's not an issue for them. Um, they're very idealistic and a natural romantic, very much so. They like solid, um, secure, romantic relationships that they can trust. Um, as I said, they love to make themselves and their home and everything look nice. They're very fashion conscious and they like things to look good. Um, sen sensitive to aesthetics, um, a lover of art and beauty, very much the thinker. They like to ruminate and that.
ability to um, know themselves very well because they reflect a lot and they think about who they are as a person and they they're good planners so they think a lot about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it and the best thing to do for them really um, they're very active full of life like the wind they're always here there and everywhere very open they love to travel around just like the wind they're here there and everywhere they get on best with the op opposite sex rather than people of the same sex i, I hear um and they live by their own rules. A wind does not get told what to do. If the wind start, decides to blow in one direction, you're not going to turn it round and make it blow in another direction. It, it lives to its own rules. Okay, so in the negative, we've all got a negative side to our character. Um, because they're well, here, there and everywhere, and they don't, you know, they're, they're always looking at different things, um, different interests. They can be quite indecisive. They find it hard to make a decision on anything because they want to do everything. Um, they make it hard to make a decision on what job to do or what interests to focus on. Um, so they tend to be a bit non-committal. Um, issues around responsibility, obligation and commitments because they don't like focusing on one person, place or thing. Um, they don't want to take responsibility because they'd rather flit about two different um, responsibilities and do different things. Um, they're often in their own mind a lot. They're very much a thinker and a ruminator and a reflector. So they can all they can often miss what's going around going on around them. Um, quite emotional mood swings. They can be happy as a sandboy one minute and then ready to blow the next. So some people can feel a little bit on eggshells with the wind personality because they just don't know which way the wind is going to blow um, from one minute to the next. Um, they can be quite cold and distant, um, overthink and worry about everything rather than listen to their intuition, unfortunately. Uh, prone to self-destructive tendencies. Um, they could be uh, very prone to alcohol abuse, substance abuse, if they're not taking good care of themselves. Um, they can be dishonest, so they're not always trustworthy like the wind. They go here, there and everywhere and sometimes tell people what they think they want to hear. Um, like a politician, really. Politicians are dishonest. We've always known it. Um, they, they can be inconsiderate of others' feelings because, again, they want to do their own thing. Um, they're quite happy to clutter off and leave someone um, uh, because they've decided that they don't want to be there anymore. And they, that can make them quite inconsiderate of how they treat others. Um, and, you know, because of that, others can feel a fair amount of negative emotions around you. Uh, anxiety or sometimes even hatred um, and your demeanor can be quite so imposing I said, I said I would show you how the signs work together so you are 75% your day sign and you will always be mostly your day sign um, and the feminine side of you is a part of your day sign as well it's like an extra facet of your day sign so your feminine side is your side that you would show mostly in your intimate relationships um, so people that don't know you very well won't see this side of you. It's people that know you very well, people that are in very, very close relationships with you are more likely to see your feminine sign. Your masculine sign, um, people will see this side of you more. Um, so they will see your day sign. They'll see bits of your Trakana sign. They'll see bits of your galactic tone. And they'll see lots of your masculine sign in you when they see you day to day. Your past sign is the sign that you focused on when you were a child. And you, this, this sign was your focus right up to the age of about 12, 13 years old. And then you, you switch to your day sign more strongly after 13 years old. And then around 40, um, you have like an added um, sort of an added life purpose, an added purpose to go with your day sign. Um, so you'll start feeling this normally around the age of 40, but everyone's very different in when they feel their um, future sign. So. I'm going to start with your masculine sign. So the wind sign is supported by feminine and masculine signs, as I've said. So you are the wind sign, but you also have elements. Um, this is your extroverted, your outgoing side. It's apparent in your professional relationships. 
in your career and when you you meet and talk to people so people will see that you're quite a good advisor and you and being quite verbal as well as a wind sign um this comes with it um you're quite a serious person quite hardened to life um a very deep very competent very wise kind of person people will see you as very wise very knowing they might and they you know that's why they come to you for advice um ultra realistic and pragmatic very much so don't like airy fairy idealism all that often um especially when you're showing your masculine side so people will see you as very realistic and very pragmatic um you're quite philosophical about life um status conscious you seek high positions so you're driven to rise to social political status um you're quite a good orator as a wind sign um you're you're very interested in politics and you seek high positions in politics okay so this is what you show to the world um you have very high standards um you have an excellent sense of judgment towards others but you're also very conscious of being judged yourself um critical of others uh downplay their feelings quite a lot because you know you focus on what um you want to do and what you want to know and places you want to go and things you want to do rather than their feelings and that's the same for the wind sign so you've got that in your masculine sign as well you can be quite inconsiderate of other people's feelings at times you're a very hard worker though um sensitive to authority and hierarchy um you want to be on that hierarchy near the top but you're sensitive to your position within that hierarchy <clears throat> um you can feel quite um deprived at times you fear rejection and you know it is possible that you are if you are a myan wind sign you could end up even though you want to be in authority you could end up a victim of authority being taken advantage of and maybe even beaten and abused that happens to some wind signs luckily not all okay so your introverted sign so people that love you and people that you love are more likely to see this side of you but it's not necessarily a side of you that you show to the world all that often so your your people that love you and people that you're close to who see you as energetic quick you're always busy you're always moving around drawn to physical activity like the wind you're never still you're here there and everywhere um so in your spare time or with members of the family you're very into exercise um dance music very much the entertainer and the performer you might be on an in an amdram group in your spare time um you love mysteries um things that we don't know yet the occult and magic um the unexplained you really like um very much uh, you like to um find information it says intelligence gathering but that's like finding information on things you're interested in you like psychology understanding people which is really good for a communicator you very much need to understand people um your intelligent active mind very playful and humorous um but you can be nervous and quite paranoid um at times um Unfortunately you do like a good fight you you don't mind arguing so you and your people that you love you're not you're not afraid to say it like it is and if it causes an argument you're not all that bothered about that to be honest you quite like a good argument and you love to debate uh, that's the politician in you I think and the communicator um if you're not leading the life that you want to live um and you're not following your life purpose you can be quite self-destructive um but you love games you love competition so you'd love to play games and be in competition with members of your family you might like to play sports games you might like to play board games or video games whatever that gives you that element of competition in your leisure time um you're quite attracted to the business world and the art of the deal um very fast efficient worker um quite egocentric very much so uh close attention to detail very much uh but you're quite suspicious of new people but when you start trusting someone you're very loyal when you become their friend so remember this is the intimate side of you that the outside world won't see very well but people who know you very well people that you're close to will see this side of you so your past sign as a youngster when you were a child um up to the age of about 13 um you would have been your past sign which is the the jaguar 
okay, the Jaguar sign. Um, you're quite, this is a familiar way of being for you, even when you're an adult and you're, you're a wind day sign, the, the Jaguar is quite a familiar sign to you because it was the sign that you expressed when you were younger. So when you were a child, you were very private, you were quite sensitive, um, very intelligent, um, always looking for new information, uh, very good at strategy, um, uh, strategy games or figuring out a good strategy to get what you want, um, a good planner. You like to plan your time when you were younger and you didn't like that plan being disrupted in any way. Um, you were quite aggressive as a person, but you um, avoided direct confrontations because you knew you were quite, you, you knew you were aggressive or if you're still young, you know that you're aggressive. So you try and avoid confrontations. Um, you will fight to make a point, And that's evident in your day sign and your masculine sign as well. Um, you, you're not afraid to um, debate and argue and make your point, you know, and you will make it quite vehemently if you truly believe what you're saying. Um, you can get entangled a bit in other people's lives and sort of be a bit um, meddlesome at times, telling them what they should do um, and getting a bit too close at times, which can cause issues. Um, you base your security on your relationships, which is difficult because you can be quite airy-fairy with your relationships and sometimes leave relationships. So, you know, if somebody leaves you, this could really shatter your security base. And if you leave a relationship, you get very much lose your sense of security. Um, unfinished business and opportunities are something you thrive on. Um, you're always looking for opportunities and anything you think is unfinished, you, you just want to keep at it. You know, you don't like leaving things undone. You don't like leaving ends loose. <laughs> you're a healer with quite deep spiritual insight, very much so, especially verbally. Um, you're into religion, spirituality and psychic and intuitive abilities when you were a child. So you've probably been quite fascinated with spirituality and religion when you were young. Um, you read people well when you were young. You knew what people were seeing. And you probably wanted to be something like a doctor or a counsellor when you were young, because um, that would have been quite a major part of who you were. And it still is. Um, even though you're a wind day sign now, these elements of the Jaguar are still within you. And it is a familiar way, a way that you would trust. Right. For spiritual growth and evolution, this is the direction you're going towards. OK, so you're going to get this new mission at around the age of 40. Um, and this is the dog or ox sign. Um, given that you're around 40, you must understand this sign. You must accept this sign and you must realize this sign for you to evolve spiritually. OK, so this is important for you to develop as you get older. So to be more cooperative and more helpful, um, be loyal and inspire loyalty in others. So remember, this is all post 40. This is a new mission that you've got. So you may not have been so cooperative and helpful in your lower years. But as you get older, you need to be a bit more cooperative and helpful, um, loyal, inspiring loyalty in others, consistent, more committed, because when you were younger, um, you would have been a lot less committed. So as you get older, you'll be more committed, um, have a group instinct and very much the team player. Um, you stick by your allies in times of trouble rather than cluttering off like you may have done previously when you were younger. So you're more um, loyal to the people around you and you stick by people more than you used to. Very creative. Um, strive still to fill authoritative positions. That is an element of your day sign and you still strive for that as you get older. And it's very likely that as you get around the age of 40 or maybe even a bit before, you will be in a leadership or an authoritative position. You instinct instinctively know where you stand in social rankings. And if you're not high enough for you, you will strive to get higher. Um, you pay, But you patiently wait for leadership. You're not like impatient with it and you don't get awkward about it. You just work towards it because it's just something that you've always worked towards and it's something that you've always been conscious of, status and hierarchy and power, really. Um, you like short distance travel um, in the area. You like to survey your neighborhood and make sure everyone's all right. You're quite protective 
you like a puppy dog or a dog surveying their territory going around making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to and everyone in your area is doing well <sighs> well that is the end of my video i hope you liked my video on the mayan wind day sign um, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm quite new to YouTube, so I've got very little subscribers at the minute. Take pity on me. Um, so if you like my video, click the thumbs up button. Um, click the bell icon to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my latest posts. Um, you can email me on kate at soulexplorer.net with any questions. Or if you want a reading, you can email me. Or you can go to my website, soulexplorer.net. There's more stuff going to be put on there very soon. I keep promising that I will, and I haven't got round to it yet. Um, and all my social media links will be in the description box below this video. So it was great talking to you again today, guys. Remember, trust the soul within you. Always trust the soul within you. Do not trust what other people say to you. If you feel in your gut something is right, do it. Don't overthink do it. Trust the soul within you. Until next time, people.